Hello everyone, the lovely people at Arteza have reached out to me again and asked if I will test some more of their products. Um, so of course I said yes, um, they have suggested the supplies this time um, and they suggested the gouache colours which I'm thrilled to bits about because these are something that I've wanted to try anyway. Um, this is the set of 60 colours that come in the same kind of trays that the acrylic um, paints come in. Um, these are gorgeous, I do believe um, these are 15 mil. These are 12 mil um, whereas the paint um, come in um, slightly larger tubes they're 22 milliliter tubes um, but the colors are just absolutely gorgeous in the same way as the acrylics you've got all the color fastness ratings and the color codes the pigments um, etc on the front of the box also the transparency so you know really inf uh, useful information um, and you know let's just give you um, a bit of a peek the colors are stunning absolutely gorgeous so I'm very excited about trying these. Now in the 60 set you get 12 um, pearlescent and metallic colours and I do believe um, it's the same colours that are in the metallic set. Um, so if you buy the set of 60 you don't need to buy the metallic ones as well. I'm not going to do a colour swatch today because there are just loads and loads of other, other videos out there sort of showing um, colour swatching so I'll do that off camera at a later date. They've also sent me um, their mixed media pad to try out so I'll have to put it this way around because it's too big it just won't fit um, on the camera um, but you get 60 sheets mixed media paper this is their premium range let me just move my water out of the way and this is 11 inches by 14 inches so really really um, large sheets and it's 180 gsm or 110 pounds um, so this is um, thinner than the usual mixed media paper um, I use which is 250 gsm so um, I use the De La Rowney normally so it'll be interesting to see see um, how you know I feel about this. Now the paper um, has two different textures you've got the rough texture on the front and a smooth finish on the back. Um, I've already put this to good use because of course I used this in the journal I made on Sunday and of course one of the benefits of having slightly thinner paper is that it's easier um, to make um, signatures for, for journals and that kind of thing so I really like um, how that turned out. They also sent me a set of their miniature brushes. This is a set of 15 and you get five of the liner brushes um, ranging from size four down to size um, one. Um, and you also get five of the spot and five of the round in the same sizes. So we'll see how we get on with these. So what is gouache? Um, well, gouache is a, a, a cross between watercolour paint and acrylic paint. Um, it reactivates to water just like a watercolour would, um, but it's opaque like an acrylic. Um, so here it is dry. I'll show you what it looks like when it goes on. Whoops, let's get my hair out of the way. Let me just dab my paintbrush in in water. Um, so let's just show you what it's like when it goes on wet. So it starts off dark and dries much lighter, but you know, it's very opaque even on a black surface. And so let's try it on white mixed media paper. So here we go. But um, I mean, if I show you, let me just grab my heat gun and I'll show you how, how quickly, I mean, it dries. It just literally dries before your eyes. Just, just look at that. Um, to this lovely flat matte finish. So let's try a different colour. Let's try the peach just so that you can see what that's um, like when it goes on wet. So it goes on really quickly and easily. You only need one, one coat. There we go. And then we'll try, let's try the blue as well. We've got this um, ice blue. This is a gorgeous colour. but just look how opaque these are. They're just absolutely lovely. Um, but let me just wet one of the colours so that you can see um, what, what happens. Let me just put the lids on these. Let's grab another clean um, paintbrush. But you can see that it just reactivates. On, on the black, it's probably not a very good example because you probably can't see it. So show you on the, on the white. Here we go. And we'll do the same. Can you see? Just reactivating to water. 
Now because these paints are so opaque it's just really easy to um, layer over the top of them just with one coat. I mean just look at this, you don't need to go over it um, twice and I think that is the main benefit of gouache paints. I mean just look at this. This is just the titanium white here. I'm using a piece of the paper that Arteza sent me, um, which I've cut to four by six inches. I just wanted something fairly small to work on whilst I experiment with these. Um, and you'll see that I use a mixture of different types of brushes as well. So I start off um, with a slightly larger brush to try and get some decent coverage. Now, what I'm finding with these paints is that they're not um, as easy to apply as acrylics because it just doesn't go on as smoothly. Um, so the fine liner pens that Arteza sent me um, turn out to be absolutely invaluable but what I'm liking already is just the very flat matte finish of these they're just absolutely gorgeous you can see that I've drawn a basic flower shape on this piece of mixed media paper just so that I've got um, a guide to work on. Um, stamped images would work perfectly for this as well but I'm going for sort of like a, a folk art style theme. Now, one thing I'm noticing is that you get an amazing coverage with these paints and I'm certainly only going to need one layer of paint. I do resort to the fine liner brushes that Arteza sent me in a second just to neaten up the edges um, because as I've said these paints are not as easy to work with as acrylics and they kind of feather around the edges. Um, they've got a completely different um, feel to them all together but they're just absolutely lovely. Um, the fine liner paintbrush makes life a lot easier. Um, I do get to grips with these, um, you know I've never tried gouache paints before so this is just you know sheer experimentation um, for, for me. Now the paints dry incredibly quickly so I'm able to go straight in with um, this lighter peach colour to add to the centre of my flower and just look how even around the edges where I've got um, you know a bit of overlap the coverage is just absolutely excellent. I'm alternating between using a palette for um, areas where I need more paint and working directly out of the tube. I need such a small amount of the green here for the stem that it just seemed an easier way to work to me. Now I'm starting to realise that if I add a small amount of water to my paintbrush um, that the paint goes on much more smoothly. You only want a small amount of water though because otherwise it dilutes the paints um, too much and you don't get that opaque um, matte finish. I also found that using a variety of different types of paint brushes um, really helped with the application. So I'm using the um, fine liner paint brush here to draw the basic shape of the leaf um, and then filling in with a larger round brush and this just really helped me. In a second you'll see that I use a much deeper shade of green just to add some details to the leaves and these paints are just so opaque that um, it just goes straight over the top of the lighter colour with no problem at all and again because I'm using that very fine paintbrush I'm able to get some really fine crisp lines. So I'm going to pop on some music for you now and let you sit back and watch me doodle all over my flower um, and I'll catch up with you at the end when it's finished.
So here are my finished cards. You can see I've made three. I've turned them into cards just by mounting them onto various card stocks, just because, you know, it's a shame just to do nothing with them. I just think these would make a lovely um, handmade card for someone. So that's um, on the white mixed media paper. I also tried it on black cardstock. This is, in fact, this is black mixed media paper and then craft cardstock as well. And just look how versatile these, these paints are. They're just so vibrant. I absolutely love the flat matte finish. That's what really appeals to me. Now they're a bit tricky um, to work with once you once you first start. You do get raggedy um, edges until you get to grips with them and um, you know get used to how much um, water you need to apply to make it um, apply more smoothly shall we say. Um, so you know it was certainly trial and error for me but um, oh I just loved playing with these so much and um, you know this this is now my favourite um, craft material. So, so there you go. <laughs> um, now as far as the paper is concerned I absolutely loved working on this mixed media paper with the Arteza paints. Um, I'm not sure how well the paper would stand up to lots of liquid so if you were using spray inks for, for instance because the paper isn't very thick. Um, this is 180 GSM, 110 pound paper, brilliant size 11 by 14 inches um, but personally I think it's best suited to um, dry mediums. Um, just because it's thinner than I would normally work with. This is the De La Rowney mixed media paper and it's I think this is 250 GSM. It's just much, much thicker. Um, but I just I really liked working on it for, for using the gouache paints. And as I said earlier, it's just absolutely perfect for adding to journals. I like to put nice quality um, paper inside journals so that you can do, you know, ink work or, or doodle on them. And this is just absolutely perfect for that, being slightly thinner. Um, and I love the paint brushes as well. These paint brushes, in my opinion, are an invaluable tool for using gouache because it just enabled me to be able to um, tidy up my edges um, and just make things neater and also get you know the fine lines for the flower stems where um, where I needed them. The flower is based on one of my own original designs. Um, I showed you these. Was it last week or the week before? These are just some of my doodles. So um, I used this one here for the inspiration. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. Arteza are offering a discount for anybody who is interested in purchasing any of their supplies so I will leave the discount code and links to Arteza in the description box below. Um, the links are off uh, uh, um, uh, affiliate links meaning that if you purchase via my links then I do get a small commission but I will tell you that I'm not being paid for this advert although Arteza did send me the products free of charge so I hope you enjoyed that let me know what you think of um, of gouache paints and the supplies that I've shared with you today and I'll be back with more ideas for using gouache once you know I've had time to experiment further so take care everyone and I'll see you all again soon bye for now